Welcome back to Crypto Warehouse. My name is Mike, and today I am going to take you through rug pulls, how to avoid them, and what steps you can take to avoid them in the future. We are going to go through how to spot rug pulls. We're going to go through the history of some of the worst rug pulls that we've ever seen. We're going to go through some accounts that, that you should follow if you want to keep an eye on what is being rug pulled at this moment in time. And then finally, we are going to give you our crypto warehouse top three things you should do to avoid being rug pulled. Before we begin, however, can we please ask you to like and subscribe to Crypto Warehouse and help us grow the channel. Now, as many of you have known, crypto has been on the rise now for about the last 12 months. This has not only given risen to rising Bitcoin prices, but opportunities for scammers to try and separate you from your hard earned money. There are many dangers in this market. Hacks, scams, exploitations, vulnerabilities all stand out as culprits behind the loss of millions of dollars every single year. The particular scam we're going to look at today is a rug pull. But very simply, this is where developers build a project, you invest your funds, they leave behind worthless tokens and run off with your hard earned money. They exploit the trust and enthusiasm of investors resulting in substantial financial damage. And most importantly, this damages the reputation of crypto in general. Now, before we begin, we are not trying to show you how to build a rug pull. We are trying to show you how to avoid rug pulls. This video is made simply for entertainment purposes only. The first thing we're gonna do is go through the signs of a rug pull. Now, the first thing to look out for on the website of the potential project or meme coin is that this website looks like many other websites. These are called cookie cutter websites where they simply change the name, change the logo, change the color and upload it. And it goes from a dog to a cat to a lizard in a few short hops. This is the first thing to look out for. And once you've seen one launch website, you are likely to have seen them all. So this is the first thing to look out for it looks the same as any other website. Now this might be difficult for a beginner to understand, so I'll try and say this as best I can. If you look at major projects with billions of dollars in them, they will have very large liquidity pools, probably in the region of tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. Some of the coins that you may or may not look at have a liquidity of maybe 50 or 100 or even $5,000. What this means is that somebody can come in and buy 10, 20% of the token for $100,000, pump the price, advertise that on Twitter that this is going to the moon, wait for you to come in and buy that token and then sell the top. Low liquidity equals high risk of a rug pull. The third thing to bear in mind is avoid who is telling you to buy this token, especially on Twitter. Is it your favorite YouTuber? Is it your favorite influencer? Why are they telling you to buy the next Pepe or the next Bonk? Have they been paid? Have they been influenced to sell this token on behalf of the project? Remember, many of these influencers or shillfluencers, as we will call them, are given $100,000 worth of this token at mint. The second the project goes live, they will dump their tokens on you. They sell you the project and they sell their tokens along with it. So do not believe anybody that tells you that they have found the next crypto gem, because if they have, they certainly won't be promoting it on Twitter. Now we cover white papers in every single review video that we make on this channel. And why do we do that? Because in a white paper, you can see the amount of care and effort they have put into a project. In many instances, the white paper is one, maybe two sides of A4. In other instances, it might be 50 or 60 pages long. That's how much care and consideration they put into the project. And that's something to take into account when investing in a project. Now, of course, we don't expect you all to be boffins and understand how to read code. As this article goes through, you can look at Rug Doctor. I will leave a link down below. This will be able to go through the contracts, review the data and see if there are any common rug pull details included in that contract. This is something you can do. And again, something that we cover in some of our review videos, the wallets of the whales. 
If a project is centralized, there are 10, 20, 30, 40% of the tokens held by one wallet. That has a greater chance of being a rug pull than projects that only contain one or two or three percent of the total tokens. Remember, they cannot really move the market with one or two percent, but they can certainly move the market with 20 or 30 percent of the tokens. And the TVL we're going to come back to at the end of this video because this is one of our recommendations. What is the total value of the project? Is it 500,000? Is it 50 million? Is it one billion dollars? All of those things affect how easy it is for somebody to rug pull a project and how likely it is to happen. So now we've gone over some ways of spotting rug pulls. Let me give you the five worst rug pulls in crypto history. Coming in at number one is of course OneCoin. We have been covering this for almost two years on this channel. Four billion dollars drained from the market people defrauded in their hundreds of thousands and Ruzia Ignatova disappearing without a trace almost seven years ago. Some people close to her believe she's had facial surgery and could be living amongst us now. Dodex, another popular example, disappeared seven years ago. It still caused $2 billion to be drained out of crypto at a time where $2 billion was a lot more than it is today. Anubis Dow, $60 million. Just over 13,500 ETH was stolen for this project, not even 24 hours into it going live. Squid Game was a beautiful example of a rug pull, if you can call it that. There is a very famous video of somebody trading this on a live stream as it went to zero. They raised over $3 million at the peak of the Netflix series' popularity and it went to zero in a matter of five seconds. And finally, Mutant Ape Planet, an NFT collection. He ran off with $2.9 million in a rug pull and was recently arrested. So not everything ends with bad news. Some people are arrested. They're the five most famous. As you can see, there's only really two major uh, rug pulls in the history of crypto but the majority of rug pulls happen below certain market caps that's what we're going to get to in a second but before we do just remember that rug pulls are going on every single day crypto rug muncher watch out for solly this looks like a rug waiting to happen 98 percent of the supply was block zero snipe that means bought and taken off the market this individual now holds 98 percent of the supply this makes the chance of a rug pull very high. Be cautious, do your own research into the team and community behind this project. Things aren't looking good here. So this is still going on today. And of course, following people like Crypto Rug Muncher or Zach XBT is going to help you understand the behavior of rug pulls. And this again, we will follow up in our conclusion. And I highly recommend following Zach XBT. He was recently um, joining forces with people like the FBI and Interpol to try and catch some of these criminals. And he works very closely with people to detect rug pulls. And as recently as April, he highlighted 12 abandoned projects, let's call them rug pulls, on the Solana blockchain, totaling $26.7 million. Over 180,000 sol stolen from these projects in one month. This was incredible. So following Zach, following people like uh, Rug Muncher, that will help you to understand what is going on in the markets. So the question most of you are asking is, well, if they're so difficult to trace, so difficult to track, how do I avoid rug pulls? And the answer is simple. You follow a set of rules that we have been following here for some years that we try and stick to to avoid rug pulls and luckily we haven't been caught by one yet. So the first thing to do is to appreciate the fact that yes I'm using meme coins as an example but that is where the majority of rug pulls have been happening in the last 6 to 12 months and the first rule is to pick coins with a minimum market cap. Now, for beginners out there, we're going to keep this fairly safe. $100 million. That is the minimum market cap a coin should have before you invest if it is a meme coin. Yes, that hinders you greatly. 
yes, you will not make the returns that you want to make. And yes, we understand that there are projects that we are involved with and we are covering with market caps of 10 and $20 million. But we have to err on the side of caution in this video. So a 100 million minimum market cap would be something that we would look at. That would be our recommendation number one. Recommendation number two then is this coin listed on centralized exchanges. This coin here, when, which we've covered before, is listed on Kraken, Bybit, Gate.io, HTX, KuCoin, MEXC. This doesn't remove entirely the chance of a rug, but it does greatly de reduce the chance of a rug. And again, once a coin is listed on a centralized exchange, the chance of it being rugged is reduced dramatically. So that would be our opinion number two. Tip number three, avoid celebrities. Whether it be Iggy Azalea, whether it be the Hulk Hogan, whether it be Andrew Tate, don't degen into a token because your favorite celebrity has told you to do so. They may be good at American football. They may be good at singing. What do they know about cryptocurrency projects? Nothing. Why are they telling you to buy that token? Because they hold big bags. They are waiting to sell on top of you. And tip number four is follow Crypto Warehouse. If there is a token that you believe has the chance to go on to do multiple Xs, send that coin to us and we will have a look at it and review it and give it our best shot in trying to stop you from being rugged. So there are the four tips from Crypto Warehouse. Number one a minimum market cap of $100 million. If you are more degen and you want to make that $10 million, it has nothing to do with us. We are just trying to help. Number two, centralized exchange listings. Is it listed on the likes of Bybit, Mexi, Gate.io? If it isn't, it has a greater chance of being rubbed. Number three, avoid celebrities like the plague. They are only trying to shill. They are only trying to pump their own bags of the cryptocurrency. And number four, follow Crypto Warehouse. Four simple tips to hopefully keep you from being scammed in the future. With all that being said, thank you for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Crypto Warehouse. You, as always, have been great. I have been Mike. Until the next video, goodbye.